In today's episode, I'm going to be speaking about the Scottish accent in Outlander. Hello everybody and welcome to my vlog. I am Sean, I am a Scottish YouTube video blogger from Edinburgh. Right now I'm on travels around the world, I'm not actually home in Scotland but I am doing a series all about my home country, Scotland, and the very different aspects. And at the moment, I'm doing a special series about the TV series Outlander, which is taking the world by storm. And I'd like to start this vlog today by saying a great big thank you to all of you new people who have come in to see these videos, interested in Scotland, interested in Scottish culture, Scottish accents. Outlander, lots of different things Scotland related, which I am speaking about here on my channel. I'm honoured to have you here, and it's really amazing to get up that dialogue and start speaking with you guys all about Scotland. If you are new here, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below so you can keep up with my videos. It's the same colour as my big red tartan shirt. I have been watching Outlander furiously because it has gripped me. I am fascinated by it, I am thrilled by it, I think it's brilliant. And I am now almost at the end of the first season. I am progressing. And also I'd like to say thank you to you guys who commented on the last Outlander video because you have inspired me to go out there and buy the books and start reading them as well. I think it is just incredible what Diana Gabaldon has done with the, the story. It is just fascinating and gripping. I think it's brilliant. And it's teaching me all about the kind of roots of Scottish clans, all that kind of stuff. And I think people in Scotland are starting to get into it as well. You know, I've had a lot of comments from people in Scotland. A lot of people from abroad, obviously, from America, from Canada, from South America, from Australia, which is incredible to see. Absolutely amazing to have you guys here. We're also seeing a lot of comments from people from Scotland who are actually watching the series as well, which is really amazing. We're, get, we're just getting into it in Scotland and we are enjoying it immensely. I think that is just pure testimony to how good the story is. It must be difficult for a foreign person to come in and write about a country and about their history, right? You'd think so, but not in this case. It's just been done so, so well. There's different aspects here, right? There's a storyteller and Diana, who's done such a great job with the books and the storyline. And then there is a producers of the TV drama, the series. So I want to get into more of the dynamics of the Scottishness of the whole situation, right? The characters and accents. Accents is a really big thing. For us Scottish people, getting accents right is quite important. The thing is, we love Braveheart, the movie. But the one big sticking point, and a lot of people mention this time and time again, was the accent, the Scottish accents that were shown throughout that movie. In Braveheart, Mel Gibson obviously played William Wallace and he was lambasted here in Scotland by newspapers, by critics, by lots of Scottish people for just having a terrible accent. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video, that doesn't bother me too much. I think people who are not from Scotland who come here and do a good effort and actually do a presentable accent, they get my thumbs up. So I actually think Mel Gibson did a great job in that. But it does show you that people, filmmakers, storytellers and actors as well can run into deep danger by attempting to come to Scotland and do the accent. And by the way, it's not an easy accent, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know. So here's the thing, right? The Scottish accents in Outlander. Not as easy to do as you might think, even though it has a Scottish cast. The reason being is Scotland, despite the fact that we are such a small country, we have so many different accents in Scotland. So many different accents. Let me just give you an example, right? Edinburgh, where I'm from, the city, the capital city of Scotland, is about 50 miles away from Glasgow, the biggest city in Scotland. Not far at all. 50 miles is nothing, especially for you guys in America, right? And yet, Edinburgh and Glasgow, the people from Edinburgh and Glasgow, we speak so differently. So if you amplify that throughout Scotland, every single city has their own ways and rhythms of speaking. Uh, and that is some of the challenges you will face if you come and try and do a video, do a movie about Scotland. You know, it has to be in a local context. Me personally, as someone from Edinburgh, I think the actor in the series I'm probably closest to when he speaks out of character is Sam Hewan. Sassenach, an English person, an outsider. Now, Sam obviously was born in Dumfries, which is a city in the far south of Scotland. Quite lowland, quite refined and soft quite a soft-spoken city. Not that far away from how we speak in Edinburgh as well. And here's the thing, Sam actually was educated. He spent his formative years actually studying in high school in Edinburgh. So he probably got most of his accent from that. Sam and I, we speak very, very similarly. I think the thing is about the Edinburgh accent, it's quite soft, it's quite refined. It is soft Scottish. 
it's probably the easiest Scottish accent to understand for people who are not from Scotland. There are different types of Edinburgh accent as well. That gets even more complicated with lower class, upper class, stuff like that. I guess Sam and I, we probably have what I have described recently as the George Street accent, the George Street kind of posher end. So as an actor, Sam, I'm probably closest to him. And you might also say we have the same good looks, Scottish charm and piercing stare. Sassanach. I should probably add on that point though, I once spoke a lot harsher than I do now. As I say, there are different Edinburgh accents. I was from a working class neighbourhood, I was brought up in a working class neighbourhood, and we spoke a lot differently to how I sound now. It was the rough, fast Edinburgh accent with a lot of slangs that we use in Edinburgh that I very rarely speak about on camera. Nowadays, I have got a much more soft, as I say, the George Street Edinburgh accent. But then if we look at the characters, the actual characters on Outlander, the one that I'm probably closest to on the series is Ned the Accountant. The thing is in Edinburgh, we sound quite inwards. We're quite soft spoken. We don't have the ups and the downs that you get in other places in Scotland. Some would call it dour. It's almost like a kind of depressed accent, the way we speak in Edinburgh, but it's just the way we are. Some people like that because it is very, how can I say this, Sean Connery. So, Ned the Accountant, upper class Edinburgh. And I want to pay particular regard to the episode that I saw already with featuring Ned heavily which was when he was collecting rent. I think the episode was actually called Rent. And when he was speaking to Claire, you could just hear he has this very kind of refined, very carefully spoken Edinburgh accent. And that is basically very similar to mine, I would say, nowadays. And it just goes back down to what Jobby does as an accountant in Edinburgh. The actor, Bill Patterson, actually does a really good job of that accent because he's actually not from Edinburgh. He's from Glasgow. People in Scotland are not very good at doing other accents within Scotland. And actually, on to that point, the Highland accent, the Scottish Highland accent, is probably one of the toughest ones for anyone in Scotland to try and say. Like, I can't even attempt to do it. It's really, really tough. So we're not even talking anymore about the actors who are not from Scotland doing Outlander. We're talking about the actors who are Scottish. It's difficult for them to adapt to the different accents in Outlander. And I think they did an incredibly good job. And that's why a lot of people have not been criticizing the accents whatsoever. They've just been very, very good across the board. They have been so, so good. I'm so impressed with the accents on Outlander. Like, I can't get over how good they are. I think they've just put so many hours in to get in it right. I think a lot of that goes down to the kind of time and the people they've invested into this show. There is a Scottish voice coach, an accent coach, called Carol Ann Crawford. You can actually see some of her videos on YouTube and she can do every Scottish accent. She's actually from the islands, I believe, on the West Coast, and she is brilliant. She has obviously sat down with a lot of the actors for hours and hours and hours, maybe weeks and weeks and months at a time to get their accent right, and she's done a smashing job of it, I must say. Big, big respect to her and the team who have put that together because it's just incredible. Like, I think they've nailed it. Like, Outlander has done such a good job with the accents, the Scottish Highland accent. Now, I do believe in that later on in the series, as it progresses, as we get further on, the story will leave the Highlands and go elsewhere. I'm interested to see how they do the other accents. Like, I just can't emphasize enough how different we speak in Scotland depending on where you are in the country. And I think that's just one of the genius things about this series. Like, they have nailed it in so many aspects. The details, the attention to details is incredible. I just give it 10 out of 10 on that respect. They've just done such a good job. But it's not easy. Listen, it's not easy to get that right when you've got such a diverse group of actors from different backgrounds, different places. And I want to give you one example, right? Gary Lewis, who plays the Laird of the Mackenzie clan, Colin Mackenzie. I opened my home to you as sanctuary from the British. Even when you refused to pledge fealty to me. The thing is, Gary Lewis is actually from Glasgow and he is not just any old Glaswegian, he is a broad Glaswegian. He speaks as broadly as they get in Glasgow and you can see that through a lot of his roles that he's done. He's always played with that kind of Glaswegian accent, you can hear that Glaswegian accent coming through. And I think in Outlander, he does a good job, it's not bad, like, he does the Highland accent well. I think anybody who's from that background, from a Glaswegian background, like, it would just be tough to kind of get that right. Like, we're talking about really, really fine details here on the accents of these actors, whether they're Scottish or not. Like, as I say, I couldn't do it. I ain't gonna criticize people who are not getting the very fine details of which city people are from in Scotland. I don't think the audiences from outside Scotland will necessarily pick that up. They'll know that he's Scottish, they'll get his Scottish accent, and I think that is good enough. And I don't know how much training they went through. I mean, I know they would have worked really closely with Carol Ann, the, the voice coach from Scotland, but like, it's not an easy job to get that right. As I say, as a Scottish person, the Scottish reaction, from me anyway, is really good. I've asked on Twitter and people say, overall, they're very, very, very impressed with the Scottish accents on Outlander. And that is from Scottish people. That's what we're all saying. So, yeah, it's just impressive. 
I'm loving the series. I'm going to read the books. I'm going to finish this series pretty soon and wait for the season three to come through. I am going to give you guys a special announcement right now. As soon as I'm back in Scotland, which will be pretty soon, actually, I will be doing a tour of Scotland of all the filming locations, learning more about them, why they were chosen for the film, see if I can do some interviews with people who were involved in the projects, and just showing you the natural beauty that we have in these locations and why they were chosen for Outlander the series. A lot of it was based on historical locations, but a lot of it were just places that just looked incredible. We will get into that in this series, I promise. As soon as I'm back in Scotland, we are hitting the road and we are doing that. So, that's it for this vlog, but um, I'm really interested in continuing this series. It's like, it's been great fun and I want to know your opinions. I want to get your thoughts. What do you think? What would you like to see as, from me as a Scottish person watching Outlander? What would you like me to cover in this Outlander series on my vlog? Let me know down below. You'll be seeing a lot of videos about my daily life, about what I get up to really soon. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, share with your friends and family. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook. It means so much to me and I really enjoy having the conversation with you guys. So, that's it for today. I will speak to you again really, really soon with another vlog. Take care.